Losing your parking ticket doesn't have to cost you money. Thankfully, there are ways to pay or appeal against a fine even when you don't have the original ticket. So there's no need to sit around worried that a debt collector is about to come knock on the door. So you had a parking ticket, either in the form of a windscreen packet or a letter that came through your door. But now you've lost it and you need to know how to proceed. Well, first and foremost, don't delay or put it off. You need to get this sorted quickly before any additional charges or worse, any legal action is taken against you. With most tickets, you'll get a decent reduction in your fine if you pay promptly, usually 50% reduction for a payment within 14 days. However, with a lost ticket, you might just have to accept that you're unlikely to get this sorted in time, so the 50% reduction might not apply unless the car park operator is particularly cooperative. Another reason to act quickly. Your first port of call should be to contact the company who runs the car park, or in the case of a public land contravention, like parking on double yellow lines, the local council. You can usually find information about parking companies by looking online, or alternatively, you could return to the car park in question and check the signage. If signage isn't clear, then snap a few pictures while you're there, you could possibly use this as an appeal. Once you've got the company's details, then give them a call if possible, though often you're gonna to have to communicate via email and then wait for their response. Another reason why it's best to do things ASAP. You'll need some information ready when you contact these companies. Usually the time and date of the parking contravention, the address of the incident, and your vehicle's registration. Councils may want some further information, like details from your car's V5 and from your driving license. Simple enough for most of us, except if you had a higher vehicle, in which case be prepared for quite a bit of back and forth communication between all the different parties. Eventually, you should be able to find out all the information you need and then be able to make a payment. In the case of a council fine, you'll be given a PCN number, which you can then use to access the normal payment site or to make an appeal. There are quite a number of parking fine loopholes which can be used to appeal against a parking ticket. If you can prove that certain procedures or requirements were not adhered to, then you may be able to successfully appeal against a ticket. I've already mentioned parking companies needing to provide clear signage, but there's also a 10 minute grace period which might work in your favour. If your ticket was accusing you of staying only a few minutes longer than what you paid for, then you might have been within the 10 minute grace period and can use this loophole to get out of having to pay. If you were issued a ticket while stranded in a car park due to a vehicle breakdown, then so long as you have an invoice from a mechanic or some other bit of evidence, that's usually enough to get you off the hook. In fact, if you can prove that almost any genuine emergency prevented you from leaving a car park on time, then that could give you good grounds for an appeal. Broken parking machines are one of the most common excuses for getting out of paying a parking ticket. However, some private car parks state that you should not park when the parking meter isn't working. But are those signs clearly marked and easy to see? Again, you can take a few photos to support your appeal. Some payment machines also ask you to enter your vehicle registration number. If you got a ticket simply because you entered your registration incorrectly, then you shouldn't have to pay. If you're still in any doubt about a lost ticket or you want help with an appeal, then you may want to speak to a solicitor for some expert advice. This could cost you far less than you might imagine, with there now being many online solicitors who are quick to contact, easy to speak to, and very often far cheaper than meeting in person. Just Answer, for example, has a trial that allows you to contact a solicitor for only five pounds. My colleague used their service and he managed to save over £270 on his ticket. There's a link to Just Answers trial in the description, and if you use that, you'll also be supporting Money Nerd, so thank you.